हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल एंड फ्लक्स अर्लियर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड नाउ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कैन आल्सो बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अनदर फिजिकल क्वांटिटी कार्ड इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल वट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल सो इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल ऑफ ए चार्ज बॉडी रिप्रेजेंट द डिग्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिफिकेशन ऑफ ए बॉडी हाउ मच बॉडी हैज बीन इलेक्ट्रिफाइड इट डिटरमाइन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ चार्ज बिटवीन टू चार्ज बॉडी प्लेस्ड इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद ईच अदर वैन टू बॉडीज प्लेस्ड इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद ईच अदर चार्ज ऑलवेज flow from one body at higher potential to another body at lower potential and the flow of charge st stops as soon as the charge on the two bodies becomes equal or the potential becomes equal suppose that we have a charge plus q placed at the origin and there is a point a where we have placed a charge q which is called test charge there will be electric field due to plus q charge at point a along this direction away from plus q along the radius radial electric field This is the electric field due to plus Q charge. Now, when this test charge plus Q is placed, it will experience a force, and that force will be along the direction of electric field. This is the electric force. along the electric field now this charge test charge will experience is force along the electric field this is called electric force now if we have to bring <coughs> this charge q from a to b then we have to do some work against the electrostatic field or electrostatic force of repulsion due to charge plus q and this work done against the electrostatic force of repulsion gets stored in the form of electrostatic potential energy now in order to bring this charge a charge q from a to b we have to apply an external force x f x turn and this external force should be equal and opposite to f electric force f electric so that net force on the charge become zero and no acceleration is produced so we have to apply equal and opposite force to the electric force to bring the charge from a to b so amount of work done in bringing the charge from a to b is equal to suppose that this ab is the small displacement dr so work done small work done dw will be equal to f external external work done dot dr so this is the small work done from a for small displacement dr now net work done from a to b we get net work done by integrating 
dw from a to b for small displacement dr work done is f external dot dr dw and for a to b work done is w is equal to integration of dw from a to b now this dw is equal to f external dot dr so when we put the value we will get this now f external is negative of f electric force so f external is equal to negative of f electric so work done will be equal to this and this work done against electrostatic force gets stored as potential energy now the we are moving the charge inside the electric field of plus q charge so at point a there will be some potential energy of the charge due to electric field and there will also be some potential energy at point b the potential energy difference will be equal to potential energy difference between point b and a will be equal to amount of work done because whatever work is done against the electric field gets stored in the form of potential energy so its potential energy will increase when we move charge from a to b and the increase in potential energy is equal to a meaningful physical quantity called work so electrostatic potential energy difference between two points b and a is the minimum work required to be done by external force in moving without acceleration a test charge q from a to b in an electrostatic field of charge plus q so this is our electrostatic potential energy difference which is equal to amount of work done in taking the charge from point a to point b now if this point a is at infinity then work done infinity to b is equal to uv minus u infinity now the point a is at infinity so at infinity the electric field due to charge plus q is assumed to be very weak so it will be negligible so potential energy at this point will also be zero we can consider the potential energy of the charge at infinity to be zero so the potential energy at point b is equal to amount of work done in bringing a charge q in an electric field from infinity to point b without acceleration now what is electrostatic potential electrostatic potential is the characteristic of electric field associated with given charge configuration suppose that we have number of charges q1 q2 q3 q4 we have this charge configuration and there are two points a and b if we have to bring the charge q from a to b then b can bring the charge along this path as well as along this path as well as along this path we can choose any path we are moving the charge q from a to b in an in a charge configuration means in a charge distribution in this charge configuration there will be electric field due to all these charges in this region so we are moving charge q in an electric field of this charge configuration now we know that electrostatic potential energy difference uv minus ua equal to wab when we divide it by charge q charge which we are moving from a to b then it will becomes potential energy per unit charge potential energy difference per unit charge or 
work done per unit charge and this work done per unit charge is equal to the potential difference between point B and A if we are moving the charge from A to B A to B then work done from A to B per unit charge is equal to VB minus VA and this is equal to potential difference between the two points A and B so potential difference between two points B and A is equal to the amount of work done in bringing the charge Q in an electrostatic field of given charge configuration from A to B from A to B so work done per unit charge from A to B is equal to potential difference between B and A so unit of this potential difference is volt dimension formula is this, this dimension formula we can find out from this formula potential difference is equal to WAB upon Q now if A is at infinity then if we put the value of A to be infinity the potential at infinity becomes zero so that will come out to be our potential at point B so electrostatic potential at a point in a region of electrostatic field is the minimum work done in carrying a unit positive charge from infinity to that point now work done by an electrostatic field in moving a given charge from one point to another depends only on position of initial and final point it does not depend upon the path that's why electrostatic field is a conservative field because here we are moving charge Q against the electrostatic field so work done by the field or against the field is independent of the path it depends upon initial and final position so electrostatic field is a conservative field so here work done is independent of the path chosen from A to B so electrostatic potential difference between two points B and A in an electrostatic field is the amount of work done in carrying unit positive test charge without acceleration from A to B against the electrostatic force of the field along any path between the two points so this formula should be kept in mind potential difference is equal to BB minus BA equal to WAB upon Q if you are moving charge Q from A to B then work done A to B work done A to B is equal to Q times VB minus VA VB minus VA so this formula should be kept in mind thank you